we've got down to the beach near Godrevy. Come down to do the sunset. By the time I've set up, the sun's virtually gone. So it's going to be quite interesting, but we'll give it a go. And uh, this is going to be a real quick one, probably 20 minutes, and we'll see what we can get before that uh, big orange ball over there it goes down below the horizon. So let's go. Let's get that quite high there. And I've got an orange, uh, or a yellow ground colour I've put on really fast uh, with some fast drying alkyd added to the oil and a bit of terps which has worked quite well I'm just going to mark in quite quickly where that sun is I don't want to place it in the middle though I'm going to go for something there so if I place that that's on the water and then that bit's on the beach just there so I'm just trying to uh, really it's a race against time tonight so let's see now that we've got some nice clouds just around that sun that's coming through I've mixed that up with a manganese blue and some of the cadmium orange look at that now oh, that's that's quite pleasant that is the colours that's quite interesting that colour over there it's, it's more of a there's more orange influence in that but it's very pale so that's way too dark that's, no that's not nice is it Quite a difficult colour to get. Let's just get something down there. So we've, got, we've got an idea where the sea is. And the beach was here, so this is the line of the beach, like that. And there's quite a lot of uh, I'm mixing the medium with this now, so it flows a bit better. That's quite all quite pale in there. That was that reflection. Quite like those uh, cloud shapes are nice now and there's a little bit of orange sun just poking through. We've committed ourselves to making it more yellow now but uh, they're really nice aren't they? We could just add some of those in actually. A bit, a bit more like that. soft up there that's quite nice actually I'm going to change it and 
changing it. We're having the orange bit coming through. Too nice not to. Got nice, uh, I really like that orange bit of sun poking through there, so I'm gonna try and put that in there now instead. Change their mind. We'll put that in, I think, try and get that in. Quite a nice feature that, so that's sort of just somewhere in here. That needs to be a lot brighter. And the orange is more around the sides. That's a bit deeper. like in the shallows the, these little ripples and waves change colour and get they're picking the sand up and they got a bit of uh, like a sandy brown in there. Let's get that to that's it. That's quite mm, yeah, it is it is darker. You squint and you see that, that is actually darker when you're looking at it straight on it actually looks lighter so there's something a bit lighter in there that's reflecting that uh, water into this bit here got like a turquoisey very pale area there it runs across like that Some of these waves are really very nice. Come on, they're getting quite big actually. Some of these waves coming in here are getting really quite big. Sort of really, really churning up there. Just uh, glad the tide's going out, not coming in. Because where we are, we would be, be a bit stuck. these like that. lights going so we're just gonna have to do the last few bits and scramble up the rocks and make our way home. Isn't that right Madeline? Now I'm for a nice hot chocolate. That's a nice colour actually. That uh, ivory black with the Naples yellow, makes quite a nice colour. 
let's just put a few uh, <coughs> few dark bits in, a few little marks in, in and around these uh, areas where the dog's been running around. I think uh, Palette knife, nearly done. <laughs> nearly finished now. Palette knife, just break this up a little bit. Put a few scratches and things in like I like to do. Just breaks up, breaks things up in a random way so it agitates the surface. Especially in the foreground. get a little nick out of that. I think that'll have to do for now. Should we, where would you like me to do the end? Okay, we've just done a quick, uh, what, half an hour oil study sunset on the beach sunset's gone down probably about 15 10 or 15 minutes ago and uh, I'm just trying to remember what I'd seen so that's as much as I can do in this light and we're gonna clamber back across the wet rocks and go home so thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed that one all the best Just laid out a very simple palette of uh, titanium white over Naples yellow, lemon yellow. That's Naples yellow, genuine Michael Hardy one. A alizarine crimson permanent, Indian red, uh, manganese blue, and an ultramarine blue. And I'm just going to finish this little painting with this. I laid this out to my right so I don't get in the way of the camera really, which is set up to my left. Because now my palette is actually over on the left hand side, my mucky palette there. Look. And there's the easel, and this is the painting we're going to finish off now. Probably half an hour, just some finishing touches. This is when we started outdoors on the beach as the sun was going down. And we're going to try and finish it off with that very limited palette now. Let's see how we get on. Here we are in the studio. I just started off by darkening the horizon line to try and uh, emphasize the sky a bit more, just to show the difference between the uh, horizon and the sky. But on the right, I thought it'd be quite nice to sort of uh, blur that horizon line there into the, so the sky and the clouds mingled together, merged together. And uh, so I mixed up this sort of grey blue and I brought it down a bit further as well. So you can see where the sky is uh, merged into the sea on the right hand side. I quite like to do that from time to time. I also brought that colour into the beach just to grey that off a little bit. And then it needed, I thought, well, yeah. Okay, it's looking okay at the moment, but we need to put some darks in. So then I can uh, use those to judge the lights against. So up to that point, I haven't really got any darks. 
at all in the in the little painting and the obvious place was to put some in where the waves were just sort of uh, coming over and it's quite a tricky one because uh, this is all done from memory now I've got no reference at all for this while I was doing this painting because I hadn't done the video at all yet at that point I'd moved all that footage across to my computer which I don't have at the studio so this is just just based on what I could remember and I was just really having a bit of fun with the paint really and using it as a using it as a practice a bit of practice before I uh, or like a warm-up really before I started a bigger painting later that evening so yeah I'm just introducing some of that some of that orange into the uh, beach at the big front there to warm it up and bring it forward and I think that goes really well against that grey on the right hand side of the beach there I'm just bringing some of that same sort of orangey grey into the water as well in some areas so this paint at this stage has got no medium added to it it's just straight out the tube mixed up on the palette just those uh, few colours and painted f uh, fairly thickly not too impasto but, but there's no it's not really a thin glaze or anything like that it's, uh, it's put on fairly thickly and obviously from time to time I do like to get the palette knife out and have a little scrape and scratch around sometimes I use it just to take the surface off certain areas which have gone a bit thick and other times I just like to scrape through the, with the point of the knife you know, I'm just adding a bit of colour into some of those waves so I thought they looked a bit dead so you've got some blues and some violets going in there and now I'm just adding some different sort of tinted whites and again always, I generally go back to the rigger when I want some of these sort of random marks because I find it's a, it's a brush I can use quite freely actually it's, it's made for tight control of uh, drawing lines but I find it works really well as a sort of brush to randomize some of these marks and just let it sort of flick around if you hold it towards the end of the uh, handle you can flick it around and you can't really tell where these marks are going to go and I really quite like that and I do the same in the beach You see how I like to push it around in all different directions and then if you want to exercise a little bit more control with it you can you know just sort of adding a bit more red into that orange in the sky and placing in some nice orange in the foreground there in the beach And you see I just generally go all around work on the whole painting so I'm flicking around all over the place and there's a bit more precision with the, the a different rigger that's a, something that's a little bit shorter the bristles on that one I can control that really nicely if I want to just little areas of detail like that and there's the mile stick just to control some other areas with my hand so I don't go where I don't want them to be and I just thought that orange would be quite nice if I really made it a lot brighter in the foreground then I thought then I decided after looking at it from a bit of a distance I wanted to bring that water down a bit further than it actually was when we were there because I just thought it was a bit too high when I looked at it from a distance I thought it might work better if I just brought it a bit forward more towards the viewer and uh, I think it worked a lot better so 
So I'm just putting some greys underneath that sort of the surf that's coming through. And I uh, decided that was it. I'd stop at that point there, and that's what we ended up with. So it was uh, sunset, September sunset, on the God Reavy Beach in Cornwall. Paint it started plein air on site and finished off from memory, and using my imagination. And it was a good bit of fun. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. Bye for now.